Hey, hey sniffers. Okay, remember when I rescued Cody? This is another one of those situations. Okay, so. I may post this in real time. Yeah, old school YouTube stuff because I wanna get this information out to you as fast as possible. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. I needed somebody to help me and luckily my friend happened to come over and volunteer. Yeah, ignore the mess in my room. I've been working really hard to try to get a video for you, but here's what happened, okay? Somebody called my phone number and said, I'm sorry you lost your bird. I was wondering if you're interested in mine. Okay, well you guys know that like that's not how it works. I don't just want a replacement bird at all. However, the reason I called this person back is because my thought process is you're willing to just give away your bird? The bird might need a better home. So I called her, I just wanna see, do you need help? Is everything okay? Like I wanna know about every situation for every bird that I come across. She's actually sick and she loves birds and she wants to give her bird up for a better life. Now I have to go down there. She lives close by and I kind of told George about this, but I would need access to his van and I don't have it. So I have to go with my trustworthy Mini Cooper and the roof down and I wanted to go with somebody so I won't be alone. And my friend just happened to come over who I haven't seen in two months, by the way. Yeah, you Tracy. So <laughs> that's what's about to happen. She actually doesn't, she actually has no idea what we're doing, but she kind of took a sort of guess. So I'm gonna get blankets for the car. All right. So I'm getting some blankets, like old blankets to put in the car. Just something to like cover the car and make sure I don't know how dirty the cage is or whatever. And I'm also going to be bringing, I'm also gonna bring a carry-on cage so that, you know, obviously my roof's gonna be down. The bird can't be in the cage. Okay, so Tracy doesn't know where we're going. <laughs> she doesn't know what I'm doing at all either, do you, Tracy? I'm suspicious because of the blanket that we might be picking, picking up a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell. I have to get something else to... An no, I have to get something else for our little trip, so uh, it might be a clue for you. Okay, I need this. Oh, we're picking up a bird. Or a squirrel? Why would I pick up, I mean, I would yeah. pick up a squirrel. <laughs> what do you mean? Why wouldn't you pick up a squirrel? <laughs> Here's the other thing. I actually probably need two of those. Are we picking up an item of plurality? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but that's a good one. If I've ever heard a blonde make up a word, I like that one. Okay, push these two down, Put, push these in, okay. and move them over. One oh, over. I did that. Yeah, and then move the other one over. Okay. Okay, now open it. Let's throw whatever's out. It's not like this, it's just simple. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's still hard, I get it. <laughs> Okay, Jersey's not gonna be happy. The reason I'm gonna do this in real time, probably without editing, is cause it's gonna be the easiest way to get information faster out to you guys. That doesn't go in there, that's for the car, but you could put it in there for now. Um, so that you could see everything in real time and the reason being is if I have to edit it, I'm gonna be late on everything and I don't wanna be late on everything for you guys. I really want to keep up and um, let you guys see in real time exactly what happens. If you have some knowledge in birds and, and birds come your way to help, I honestly think it becomes a little bit your duty. So I'm not going to keep these birds, but I do kind of have a home in mind. But I just got to assess the situation, see how friendly they are, see what we're dealing with. I have no idea what we're dealing with. All I know is that she's really sick and can't give time to the birds and the birds might need to be separated. So let's see what happens. Why did I go to the passenger seat? Like I'm so not used to driving. Like what? I don't get out much anymore, guys. Okay guys, we're on our way. I don't know if we're gonna be able to film there. If it feels weird for any reason, like I'm invading their privacy, like we're not <laughs> gonna film, but I'll get as much as I can like after that. So 
let's see what happens. I've been out the driveway for a long time, but she's not answering the phone and I can't get in the gate, so. Tracy's going to see if there's like a buzzer somewhere. I've called her twice. I hope this isn't a fail. Cause she said like, I have to do this before 7 p.m. Okay. Monty, Monty. This is Monty. Monty is in a wonderful home but he's gonna get rehomed due to some unfortunate circumstances. Look, <laughs> he's so cute though. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. Hey Monty, you're gonna come home with me and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> he's like, I'm not leaving my toy. Okay, so that's Monty, and now in here we're gonna put Nelly. So the reason I'm not putting them in there, just so you understand, is because I don't want their first interaction with me to be about me trapping them or taking them away from anything, and sometimes birds don't like to get in carriers, so that cannot be my first interaction with them. I want them to feel very happy and comfortable with me when we get home, because everything that happens right now is new, and since they're so well taken care of and happy, it's not gonna be the easiest thing for them to adjust to being without their family, but it should be a good transition because it'll be okay. So who is it that likes to go upside down? Was that Nelly? Monty. 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 Oh, Tracy going for it. Yeah, good job, Tracy. <laughs> You're, I guess. Disneyland. Mama, you're okay. Okay, come on. It's okay. I know, I know. It's scary noise. Go ahead, now. You could put it on my arm. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll make sure this is closed, snap tight. Make sure all the sections are closed, guys, and we're going to go. We're getting the car ready first. Can't see, but the roof is Rocky. going down. So we're trying to get this in there. Um, so this is happening. So her son helped me put this in the car. Here's the update. She's really sick. She doesn't know what she has, so. I'm definitely quarantining the birds. I would have done that anyway, but I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Here he comes. Tracy's got the two birds. We're not going far, but my seat is stuck. Put my seatbelt on first really quick. Yeah, do that. <laughs> See, you'll also have to hold this. I know. I know. You know, like. Okay, I guess I should roll the, oh, it's not gonna go up, is it? The window? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, thanks, you just wanna move the car if you can. <laughs> okay, we can't back out like this, so he's gonna move the car up. Okay, so here's the situation. Not only are the birds gonna be quarantined, but we're gonna be quarantined. It just means that like when you go home, if you can, before you touch Bella, shower. There's no like, she obviously has something viral within her, but I don't wanna take any chances. But anyway, she's a really good person. She's really suffering right now. It's hard to be sick and take care of birds, but they were out and happy and, and well taken care of. Yeah, she's sad about it. So this happens all the time, guys. Um, sometimes it is better to get your birds to a place that will emotionally. Why is the car stopped? What's wrong with the car? Do you have to put your foot on the brake? Oh no. The car's not starting. Is it, park? Is it because your seat's not locked? I don't know. Oh no. Is it? <gasps> it might be because the car knows your seat's unlocked and it's not safe. Oh my God, it says that. It does? Oh yeah, look. <laughs> it won't let me drive. Mini Cooper, you're pretty cool. Shoot, hold on. Okay, we're going, turning off the camera, being safe. Here we go, it's gonna be a very slow drive. Guys, I'm driving up <laughs> to my driveway and I see a car in the driveway, which means it's George and the lights are still on. <laughs> I don't know if he sees me. <laughs> he probably spots me. Here comes this mini with a giant cage sticking out of it. He's gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> he's looked, but I don't know if he's processed what's happening. Like, did he not process these? He must be in a serious conversation. He's not even, like, he's deep in this conversation. Like, he doesn't know I have a situation here. Is he talking with his hands? Because he knows it's really deep. Let's talk about it. 
Like, even if, if I put the camera on, you won't even see it, but he's like, ah, ah, ah. Hi! I'm on the phone with Charlie. Turn your light on. Why? Just turn it on so my fans can see you. Are we on live? Do you see the situation here? Oh, you guys picked up uh, yep. the new guys? Come out of the car. Okay. What's their names? Nelly. Melly? Nelly. Nelly, like, okay. My like my grandmother. Aww. How, and how did that happen? What did she say? Morty or Monty? Monty. Monty. Nelly and Monty. Like Monty Python. What are they, Irish? No. Monty I can't Irish? see you. Come into my camera, please. Hi, guys. We're not live, but... Oh, I thought it was live. <laughs> no, but I... So here's the thing, though. He's looking at me. Who's that? Monty. The one on the bottom is Monty? This is Monty. That's mm -hmm. Nelly. Okay, here's the thing. Like, she know. has a viral infection. She doesn't know what she has. She um, thinks she has, like, West Nile or something. So these birds, this cage. Then we need to make sure that they're. This cage, I think, needs to kind of maybe just go in the backyard until we can pressure wash it. I can pressure wash it. Yeah. West then, Nile, is she is she okay? I don't know if she, that's six, what she has, but October let's 5th. consider the worst, okay? Now her son doesn't have anything, and he's been with her taking care of her. So there's so, no way that. So it's... I so like I don't know if it's and contagious. Are the birds okay? However, these birds, yeah, these birds have to be quarantined from our birds, which you know. Yeah. Except we might have to quarantine ourselves. So like we have to. Continue to wash our hands, shower. Like we can't handle these birds and then accidentally go handle right, ours. Right, of course. You want to talk to maybe uh, Lou about it? Yeah, we'll talk to Lou about it. We'll go to Lou. We'll like investigate. Hi, Tracy. Hi. <laughs> Tracy got roped up into this. She just wanted to come over and show me Bella's costume. And Bella. She doesn't she care about Bella come? me. Yeah. She only cares she? about me seeing well, Bella. <laughs> she needed help, so I sent her. Over but she did come and help me out. <laughs> Thank Tracy very much. And the only thing that any of them says is Nelly says, Nelly neglected. No way. Yeah. Does she really say that? Yeah, and she it's from the home that they were in before. So it makes her really sad. And she's a good bird owner. She really the birds were out, they were happy, they had the plastic under. You could tell the birds are out all the time. Everything is good. Like she's great. She whatever. Are we gonna keep him in a certain room instead? We have to keep them somewhere they else. They could be in my room. Can they? Yeah. That's very generous of you, George. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I know you I, I know you'd appreciate it. I do appreciate that. I, I mean Thank you think you. they're okay with my lizards? We'll see what happens. My gecko and my chameleon. Yeah. So George is gonna pressure wash this today and so we have work to do.